the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, God bless you. I think you're going to really enjoy the study that we had today. I know you will, because the question of the title for the day is, what must I do to inherit eternal life? That's what preaching the gospel is about, right? It's to show people that they can have eternal life through Christ. Christ said in John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. And so what he did and what we talked about today, uh, and you'll see in this series, and I, I'll break them down in uh, like A, B, C, D, whatever it takes to complete it. But the focus is, what must I do to inherit eternal life? You do, you need to be born again. And John, in Romans, we did in Romans 10, verse 10, 9 and 10, or not with Romans 10, verse 9 and 10, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God is raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Now, the examples that Christ gave dealing with the rich young ruler and dealing with the Samaritan story is to understand that if you are saved, then you should follow these patterns of eternal life. And if you are by the law, and you need to follow the patterns that Christ gave with the rich young ruler and for the Good Samaritan. And each of them is a relationship that we have between one another. I always talk about the fact of bearing good fruit, the fruits of the Spirit, found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there's no law. There's a relationship that we're supposed to have with one another. There's a compassion that we're supposed to have for one another. There's mercy that we're supposed to have for one another. If we learn to do that, we can let our light shine. And that's what I'm thinking about. This is the importance of the pattern that we read it today. So we talk about what's what's that do in here to turn life. Let's read those scriptures. Let's study those scriptures. And then let's be doers of those scriptures. Amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great day. I hope you had a great weekend. Because uh, don't forget, we had the Memorial Day weekend. Uh, that's where we're in right now. Uh, so I hope people will be safe. There's a lot of people traveling. Be safe. Come on back home. We will keep you in prayer. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. God bless you and thank you for listening. And don't forget to subscribe. You know, it makes a difference. Uh, and don't forget that if you like what the message, the content of the message, go ahead and say you like it. Make a comment on it. Help me to, to make sure that I'm listening to God correctly and putting out the product or the message that he wants put out because of how it affects you. Amen? So, subscribe when you hear these, uh, vid when you see these videos. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. God bless you. Bye-bye. And I'm going to talk about the, uh, this, I got a good question for you today. You'll love it. You'll love it. We're we actually live now. Everybody, welcome. Whoever going to see this, either video or see it live. It, we're on YouTube. If you want to see it, we live. I guess we're, we're on Facebook, too. <laughs> but the point is, anybody who run across this, God bless you and, and, and welcome. Because we get ready to talk about the Word of God. And the Word of God I want to talk about is, Brother Addison, who, that's our, that's our uh, main star today. <laughs> I just playing with him. Uh, <laughs> but he, he's, he's an excellent person and I wanted to show because he's the panel he's talking we, we don't have no way I guess we'll, one day we get it so we can get people you know see him in chat or to join us but I, I we ain't ready for that yet we, we'll get there I'm <laughs> just not ready for that yet <laughs> or even just uh Texting a response or something. Or yeah, that's the chat one. That's what I'm talking about. Get it till we get to the chat piece. <laughs> but look what look at the title I have here for you, brother. It's it's, it's what do you think of that title? It's I'll read it to you because the first part is top heavy, which is always talking. We want to teach the gospel, right? We want to teach it Yeshua's way, which is 
the Hebrew name for Jesus, for those who don't know. And we want to go about what's written, right? Because that's what Jesus did when he dealt and confronted life. He confronted and said, well, what's written? Which would frustrate some people anyway. That's why they try to get you to think the Bible does. Uh, they try to get you off the Bible too and try to discredit the Bible and all that other stuff. Uh, but here's the point. Is this, dealing with that, the story we're going to talk about the rich young ruler. What shall I do to inherit eternal life? I, you know, since we're talking about the gospel, right? Talking about the good news is the fact is that eternal life is available to all those who want to receive salvation, right? And and sometimes some people want to ask that question. And it's a legitimate, you know, obviously the rich person thought it was legitimate. Do you not think it's legitimate today? I think it is. It's, it is very legitimate, but uh -huh. we've gotten away from it. Yeah. Body. <laughs> and what we we're not looking at it as an eternal life we're looking at the temporal yeah and it's how to how to be profitable and, and to live a blessed earthly life yes you know and it's all about being uh it's all about prosperity yeah in this day and time now in this right day and time and that is not eternal nope Nope. And it is not the gospel. No, it's not the gospel. And you know, it's funny too, you think about it is that when when we you and I was talking earlier, if everybody coming in, is that when we talk about now, when you talk about things such as nationalism, white superiority or black superiority, all that's talking about now. You know, they, I don't. I don't think. I uh, hope most of them most of them don't think that that's about when you get to sweep by and by. You know, when, when you get into heaven, they they know that's not something that you bring with you. You know what I mean? And we got we got we know it's proof that you can't bring your color, your skin, with you, because there's people still in the grave, right? Right? We we got a history of people. Well, of, of, of houses. <laughs> abandoned homes we got homes we got graves we, 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 the, the, the grave what's inside yeah, the grave uh, just abandoned homes abandoned homes look at the Egyptians actually thought that they could take their, their slaves with them their yeah. goods with them to the to the afterlife we we, we know we dug up those you know, those big old those big old pyramids right those grave robbers the great with the grave robbers went in and they took the stuff because the people who died and the people who buried them, what they thought? They thought those people were going to take that stuff with them. Yeah. I saw recently one one pyramid, they had a boat in it. <laughs> they, they, yeah. they thought that the man is going to need his yacht, his boat, whatever you want to call it, his ship, whatever, on the other side. And then all that stuff was going to be going with them. So my point is that we all know that this, these, any of these concepts of nationalism and anything else, people, and I think you all agree, I know that's stupid. <laughs> that's all dealing about now. That's, you know, like the sweet, the prosperity preachers and stuff. They, 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 they're talking about now. They, 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 uh, who was it? Uh, Solomon said vanity of vanity because all that stuff you gather whether you did it by hook or crook or did it legally will go to somebody else when you leave interesting right so while well, that's why I'm saying the title today for most people says it just I don't, we're not trying to deck we're not trying to put anybody down about trying to have a, a great prosperous life comfortable and, you, you know, know that, there's nothing wrong with that. Not no, it. What's wrong uh, with it is, is what the rich young ruler we're going to talk about. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's what it means. It's, it's, it's you know, don't serve it. Don't serve it. Don't serve it. Isn't that what the scripture said? What profits a man to gain the whole world and loses his soul? And and that's what we want to talk about today. Because some of you, I think, some of the people that actually do get into. Uh, 
uh, from even being a gangster or, 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 you know, criminal doing it back hook and crook to get wealth and everything else. They, I, they, I think they already recognize they have given up their soul, you know? Yeah, they, you, you, you tend to lose humanity when you start. You do, you do. Your soul yeah. is destroying it. Yeah. You know? When you're destroying it, that's a good point. Of, of, of life, you're, you're, you're destroying it. Yeah. You, you kind of give up on it. it. To me, like, that's an example when you talk about companies that throw in tox, you know, toxic chemicals into the the waterway. Yeah. That that means it's like I don't care what you got to do to get rid of this stuff so I can still make a profit. Yeah. As long as my wealth. As long as my wealth. Yes. As long right. As in my immediate family or whoever I care about mm -hmm. is living this life of luxury, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. No one else matters. Humanity mm -mm. does not matter. Right. Um, this world is obviously uh, witnessing it, you know, and, and I, can't, I can't say it enough that according to Yeshua, this is the time of sorrow. It's rapid. It's yeah. It's because the Euphrates River is dried up and all this other stuff. The signs. Of, yeah, yeah. Just look at look at this world mm -hmm. and everything that's going to it, and the fact that news now information is yeah. worldwide. Yes, it's not localized anymore. So you can't say it's only happening here. You have. The ability to have information of what's going on mm -hmm. instantly yes. about this entire world. Come on. And, and and knowing that and knowing what's going on, the signs that match what Yeshua is saying yeah. about you know the wars and rumors of the yes. volcanoes, the, 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 the just everything. earthquakes. The earthquakes, earthquakes and, yeah. The, and, and not not just where it's commonly mm -hmm. where where it's common to happen, yeah. but in places where it hasn't happened. <laughs> hey, I saw recently talking about even New York is is yeah. sinking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it going to be like Greece or or what? No, uh, the uh, 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 the Atlantic, Atlanta, Atlantic, something like that. The uh, uh, what, what, what's the the the, the the, the city that sunk and now they got it was it was it's a, it's a land it's a they sunk completely but the city that now uh uh is it is it greece where they have all the it's, waterways and they and the city is is pretty much yeah underwater yeah it's, it began with i thought it was called a, uh you keep saying it's not but i thought it says it's called a a, a land tick or something some i've it's 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 where the it was a famous power people they had power. I'm talking about Atlantis that is it sunk underwater. Yeah, is that what is Atlantis, right? Yeah, Atlantis. Yeah. But I'm talking about one that has existed and it has been one of the romantic places everybody goes to, and they ride the gon the gonzas or whatever down the the little waterways in uh, Italy or something like that. Is it is it sunk though? Is no, it actually it's, sunk? it's it has sunk into the point to where the water. Oh yeah, has, yeah. Has, has has creeped up to where there's very little land. Yeah, the people ride the little boats around yeah. the. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's what they're talking about uh, uh, New, New York. York. Yeah, because yeah. they're gonna have to build the. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna have to make those the lower levels of foundations yeah. instead of. Uh, Docks, you know. Yeah. Sit up, sit up and <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's it's. And remember that time it did rain. That time it flooded. Remember that time it had a big flood and uh, and and you basically could barely get around. Yeah. And some people actually drowned. Oh yeah, the, in the subways and those, those bottom tunnels and stuff. Uh huh. Uh huh. It was almost like a little a little dry run 
of what's going to happen in that area, that region. That's Philadelphia too. Was like that, right? Some places in Philadelphia as well. So, so like you said, these things are coming to pass, and they will come to pass. Uh, I think the reason Elon Musk and them want to try to get the get up to Mars, right? Because <laughs> they they're looking they, for a new place. They're it. looking for a new place. You know, uh, this and, one, and they, they, the signs are here. It's 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 temporal. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. no and, eternal for this particular world. Yeah, there is no this world. Yeah, it, it, it will end. You know, um, and it's it's going to go through until the Lord comes back, right? It's like the the, what's it, the sea turned to blood, and so the rivers turned to blood, the seas turned to blood. And we find in some cases where animals are dying yeah. in the sea because it's getting warmer. So, so our point too is that is what we must do to get eternal life because this life is what basically we're trying to say is perishing. Even the Bible says it will perish. Even Peter was talking about what the firmaments and the melting. <laughs> It, it's going to perish people regardless. And, and look, it, it be, it, whether it happens sooner or later, every last one of us, it has been guaranteed through history that we're not always going to be here. Everybody needs to understand you. You have a temporary life. And that life could be one, you could be died, you could be stillborn, <laughs> you could be two years old, one years old, you know, all the way up to 120 years old but eventually you will what brother asa this is no question you will leave you will leave that house that house will be left behind it will be it will be left behind so now we're talking about is what must you do now if you now you got some people that think they ain't going to you know that's it when it when that when the house shut down they shut down even though there's different indications not just from the bible just indications of of, of you know like paranormal activities yeah. and, and and near death experience and and just just if you even think about the the what you call the pagan history and all of the other stuff there's always been this indication of life after the house your body has expired so most people you could be in denial, but there's there is evidence of life after this. And what we're talking about is how to inherit inherit eternal life. So with that in mind, and I and I think when we based on what we've been talking about is for the uh, ministry, the church, is to wake up because we've been called to go preach the good news. The good news is how to inherit eternal life. And with that in mind, I think the the, uh, the scripture I had first is the fact is that, you know, we're talking about this woke thing. We're talking about the fact is it's time for us to wake up, you know, and it was prophesied. And, and I'll let you read it, but it was prophesied that we have to rise and shine. Yeah. That means that to rise and shine is implied that you weren't shining. Does that is that does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. In other words, there's a condition, there's a prophecy of where we have to rise and shine, wake up, and do what we need to do. Because it was prophesied back in the book of Isaiah. That's the same book that was discovered in the Dead Sea Scrolls, right? And they said it basically was intact. I mean, everything we got today is what was written and prophesied back in Isaiah. And what I'm trying to say is that we are supposed to, Christ told us, go preach the gospel throughout the world. Yeah, and and the, huh? the existence of the scrolls, I mean, how, how yeah. amazing is that? Come Seriously. on, bro. Yeah. Seriously. You know, you have something that, that was being, you know, uh, translated and, and misinterpreted. And, and and just restructured and then God is like nope let me give you the original <laughs> let me get the original keep it intact let me, yeah let me reboot this system yeah give you what you really really are supposed to have right it's amazing 
It's amazing. Matter of fact, is because in fact, most people, I told one of my friends, we, we, we go through our little discussions and stuff. If God wants his word to make it to you, there's nothing in this world can stop it. See, he, you know, one of my buddy, he's going to listen to this later. <laughs> my buddy was sitting there saying this. That's man wrote it. You know, he, that's his, that's his lock-in, right? Man wrote it. Opposed to the fact that how is it you want God to communicate with you? Do you want, I, I don't, I'm pretty sure, brother, as a, just like the children of Israel on, on Mount Sinai, God came to do what? He came to talk to them, didn't he? <laughs> he came to talk to them uh, through those clouds, thick cloud and everything. And what did they do? Moses. They, 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 they backed away and they wanted a man <laughs> to go get the information and bring it back to them. But then when that, that happens, yeah. they don't. They still don't want it. They don't want it. Well, they didn't want it in the first place. They yeah. just wanted to get that separation between God and man. You see what I'm saying? So we won't put an intermediary there because then, see, I'm not accountable. Because they said it. I mean, it was interesting. They said it. They said, Moses, you go talk to him. Lest we die. <laughs> right? Because I think... Took, because for them, just like today, uh -huh. the temporary is yeah. important. The yeah. now yeah. is more important than eternity. Than exactly. all of eternity. Yeah. So because when he said, unless we die, eternity, let someone yeah. else mm -hmm. represent us for eternity. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and then we'll, we'll see if we if we want to do what it takes. Mm -hmm. and, um, that seems to be the standard operation of, of man. That was, I think, in the general, what, what, was that what Mary, I mean, uh, Eve, he said, uh, you would, you know, the devil, she said, if we touch it or eat it, yeah. we're going to die. The devil said then, said, you will not die. He told, I mean, he told, he basically did a bold face contradiction, right? You will not die. But God knows if the day you day eat of this, you will be like God. Interesting, right? But it was like you said, you will not die. And how many of these that people... Was, that was the, the lie. That was the lie? And is, do you think that's not the lie today? Well, that's just the way. I, I don't think it's put in that point. I don't think the dying part is is something anyone wants to hear. They just uh -huh. want to hear how to, to live in this life. Yeah. Stories. Or, yeah. Or, or comfortable or rich or great. Yeah. Or famous. I think I think I think the people like you said though is that you will not die if you do this, you be greedy, you do all that stuff. You will not die physically. <laughs> I think that's and that's what people like you said is that if I can get advantage of the now right the here and now i can i can get the benefits of the here and now uh i ain't gonna worry about i ain't thinking about the other part but i think when when, when god well we know when god was telling them he was not talking about the physical part either was it no he, and, and i think that's what a lot of people sit there and think about is that i want to disregard the spiritual death I want you definitely the devil's babies to tell them that you ain't gonna die. Good time you eat this fruit, you're gonna still be right. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be still be able to talk to you. Go ahead. Because God wasn't talking about physical death. He, he was talking about death. He was talking about death, separation from him. We utter separation. Right. Could you only exist because of him, right? I like what Paul was saying, and here we move and breathe and have our beings, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think that's the whole point, is that you separate from God, you basically end your existence. And that's why we got to always work on trying to maintain that, that connection. 
right? And that's why he gives us mercy and grace. And I'm saying the church, like you said, the, the ministry, the church, the body of Christ, was whole design is to go preach the gospel. That's what Christ said, right? Go preach the gospel to the world. And this scripture, what is the scripture? Tell us, read this scripture for us for it's like we read it before. What what, what is it talking about? Okay, so Isaiah 60, starting at verse 1. Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. Mm -hmm. but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his yes. glory shall be seen upon thee. Yes. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light. Come on. And kings to the brightness of thy right. Great people. Yeah. Excuse me. Lift up thine eyes around about and see. All they gather themselves together. Mm -hmm. Come to thee. Thy sons shall come from afar. Mm -hmm. And thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Well. Then thou shalt see. Mm -hmm. Flow together. Thine heart shall fear and mm -hmm. be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. This prophecy is why he said, Go preach the gospel. Because we got technically two billion people who profess themselves to be believers in Christ. You know? And, 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 and then the gospel is still supposed to be preached throughout the world so that people can come to. In other words, the church is supposed to rise and shine so that the Gentiles, all of us, are converted. Is that, that's how, how you read it. You read it in a way different? No. No. And, and to me, it's like it was sleep. Because if you arise and shine, <laughs> when did the light come? The, Christ said he was that light, didn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and you know, we had that good revelation uh, a few few uh, uh, weeks ago where we were talking about when it said in Genesis, let there be light. And then we realized that was not talking about the sun. That was not talking about the stars. That was talking about Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.